Hi guys. Happy Friday to me, you guys. Happy Friday to me. I know to the rest of the world it's only Tuesday, but to me it's Friday. So let's paint. Let's do some transfer blooms. Uh, this is just a trick my camera, that red splotch. So we're going to do black on black because I have gallons and gallons of black paint and I like it. All right, my colors are a little bit differently mixed tonight. Same pouring medium I always use, my 321 mix that I went through last week. So this white is about a 50-50 mix of white satin enamel and that North, North Shore white from Walmart. And this is burgundy from Montmartre. Really pretty color. So my paints are mixed the same way, three, two, one mix exactly the same with the exceptions of Zeus and I mixed the Zeus the same way and it wasn't quite as thick as I want it so I added a little bit of string gel. This is TLP Zeus. And then let's do Let's do Clonacridone Nickel Azo Gold. I always love it when people comment, what is QNAG? And I always respond the same way. It's the shortened version of Clonacridone Nickel Azo Gold. All right, so mixes. So this one is, I'm using, I'm using the US Flow Troll tonight, you guys, because I'm super short on the Aussie stuff. So I'm using US. So this is white US flow trawl with 50-50 again satin enamel in it and it has a little bit of string gel in it to give it a bit of body. Um, I've been playing with paints and just kind of trying to figure out what I can do with what as always. I'm always mucking around with something and so far I'm kind of liking the results. Uh, US flow trawl black cell mix. All right, the blowout. Okay, let's just let that develop. I might have to blow out that part a little more. I didn't do such a great job on the blowout, but the cells are popping out. So I think we're just gonna leave that alone for now. And give it a second and then we'll flood our 4x16 canvas, canvas tile. 4x16 white ceramic tile. I get up on my chair make sure you guys are still there. Yes, you are. And we're going to flood it with black. So my black is the same black I always use, guys, uh, in my cream bottle. Just black onyx from Walmart straight out of the can. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful black sticky stuff. Okay. I'm going to pick up our paint with a card, just a plain card that I got at the secondhand store for like 59 cents. Okay, look at this. Pretty, pretty. I'd like to not have quite as much of the gold. Maybe I'll blow that out a bit. And then a little bit heavy on the black cell mix, which is a little bit thinner. So let's just get rid of that little puddle. All right, my friends, here we go. So we're just going to scoop this up, like always, just letting it gently kind of run down the card. It wasn't very gentle. And then let's lay it down. So I'm going to go a little bit slower than normal. I would like to try to keep some of these pretty cells. 
And normally I go quite fast, but tonight I'm in slow-mo, you guys. Slow-mo, slow-mo. Okay, let's come in here. So I'm going to try to keep my pattern in the middle because we stretch out so much that we lose a lot of it. No guarantee that that's not going to happen tonight. Go through this a little bit. All right. Okay, let's do some, I'm actually going to break it up a bit, I think. I'm not modifying this. I'm not modifying this tonight, you guys. It's just all about painting and having fun tonight. I do need to just kind of break it up a little bit. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, do I have enough room to spin? Maybe. All right, let's spin this. Baby spins. Collect a little bit of this paint. Help that out a tiny bit. I have one white dot right there that I could live without. Okay, let's spin it again. Fancy up these little lines a bit. And then we're just going to do some stretching and some tipping. Tip you on your head for a minute, you guys. I'm going to go off this side. Look at all those pretty colors. I would like to have more of the lacing and I could add to it, but I don't know if I want to. Let's just give it another spin and see what happens. Spin on a bit of a kick. Well, I liked my last piece a lot better because that was, of course, the piece that I didn't videotape, which is generally what happens when it's just me mucking about. Cool things happen.
I don't know, you guys, should we add to this? Let's add, let's go for full coverage. Okay, we'll just use this dirty puddle. Add a little bit. And then we're just gonna repeat these colors, maybe not as much red this time. Red. And white. I think I'm in a different order, maybe. Going up or down. Zeus. All right, here we go again. So, wait till mix. Black cell mix. Okay, another blowout. I like the way the quinacridone and the white makes this pretty, almost an ochre color. What was that? And the lacing is all sort of a yellow. I really, really like that. This puddle is really pretty too. Maybe a quick blowout right there. All right, let's try this and see what happens. Okay, there's going to be way more coverage than I normally have, but it's pretty. Okay, another spin, guys. Bubble right there. Yeah, a black bubble now, which I don't want. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, so let's just do some manual tipping and tilting here. And take a fair amount off this way and really stretch out those light colored cells in the middle.
So the white satin enamel in these kinds of pores does exactly what white satin enamel does. It kind of gives everything that really soft, pretty cloudy look. I really like it, but then that's just me. I like, I just like the way it looks. I'm going to tip you again. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that, you guys. I'm going to bring it down for a closer look. I'm going to pray to God I tricked my video now that I discovered a couple days ago that I could fool my video into believing things are nice and dark and rich because usually what happens, as you know, it's either out of focus and it's just a disaster. But the last video I did, I think it was okay. Let me just clean up some of this. All right. I'm gonna bring you down. Just touch up a few of these edges. And I'd like to, I have a kind of a swoosh in there that I'd like to get rid of. Just do some finger touch ups here. I'm going to spin it one more time, you guys. Okay, that's pretty fun, I think. Pretty fun. So this section in here, I'll show you. This is really pretty, and this really shows you, like, what the white satin enamels do. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Not colors I normally paint in, so this has been fun for me because I'm not much of a red girl, but I'll show you. Oh, you're not even in the, you're not even in the camera again. Okay, I'm going to put you on hold for just a sec. Okay, there we are from directly above. Uh, let's see if we can go down and look at some of these fun areas without losing focus. We'll go slowly. Do, 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 do. So this section in here, now it's gonna not gonna focus. All right, you have to trust me, you guys. It's very, very pretty. It's very bold and in your face and really, really quite interesting, actually. Um, I'll take some stills and I'll do a little bit of close-ups in this section here is really neat. I know if I take off the light lock it's gonna look really washed out and that is not the colors i'll show you what happens oh it's not too bad all right now we can go down close this section right in the center is quite interesting um i have a few little black spots coming up and i don't even actually mind that in this piece this corner is pretty cool See that? I imagine I, I managed to duplicate my golden ochre without even using it. All right, there it is from above. So that's my true colors. Uh, I'm quite happy with this piece, you guys. I'm happy that you guys were here to pour with me on my Friday night. I'm going to make myself a coffee and I'll be back. All right, guys, take care.